what up, what up? What's happening? Now come on, what's up, people? What's happening? What Man, welcome to the live podcast of us, man, here at Sipping and Tripping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is MPB Men's Point of View, so we kind of tell our side we're a little selfish lady. But we can't learn from you all. We will listen. He will. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't hard to hear, man. I just have been through a lot. I'm like, y'all have been through a lot. Mm-hmm. At this point, I'm just like, I don't even give a shit. How you feeling? I, I, man, that's how I be how feeling. feeling okay, all right. Like, for me to get hurt, it's going to take a lot. I've been scoring too hard. Like, it's going gonna, gonna to take a lot. So do you feel, hold on, so with that being said, with that being said, hey, I said you come in here like a little bomb. <laughs> no, but let me ask you this question. Because y'all deal with us. Do you think there's a lot of damaged men out there? Amen. Yeah. 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 How, how do you deal with it though? Like that, that's the thing about it. I don't want to just say like, yeah, we deal with it. We just talk about the motherfucker. That'll make the shit better. Run over it, keep going. That you can't keep she doing said, what's, that. What you say? Run over it, keep going. You, Run can't, over you can't keep Man. doing that. At some point you got to face what's going on. You don't have to keep facing it. Because you can just one buck catching up. Okay, so if you catch a whole lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you the problem? <laughs> a lot of damage, man. It's a man. Yeah, they a man. How do you know if you're damaged, though, as a man? Like, how do you just say, yeah, I'm, I'm damaged? For me, personally, <laughs> it hurts. When it, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's like a child. We all revert to that childhood, regardless mm-hmm. of how old you are. And I think, and I think, personally, when it comes to stuff like, me and we love hard, so when we really have high hopes for you ladies, you let us down, we are upset. That's that's hurtful. That's what men go into hope phases. I don't want to love no more fuck that shit. Look what happened last time. Like we we live in that shit. Like it's hard for a dude to love, period. Much less the guy that to keep doing it. So we hold on to all our baggage. I know. I know we yeah. have to grow up and learn to let go of that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just more I mean, for me it's more I don't think men really talk about our issues probably enough like we need to. I mean, maybe nowadays, I don't know, but I know growing up, like I, the men I'm around, you know, they don't really talk like, they just kind of do what they do. When they say that men cry in the dark, quote unquote, to me, that's a real thing. Like, you know what I mean? Most men don't, cause we kind of handle our business. We do what we got to do. And we just kind of, kind of move on with it now. But is that's it a help? different world. Is that help? I mean, you don't know. I mean, you don't. You don't really know. So, sometimes it may be so, somebody tell you it's not, and then yeah, in your mind, you like shit. Yeah. I mean, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? That that's the main thing. I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but I just think that's how men, how men kind of approach a lot of things when it come to when it come to life and stuff. So, it's my little opinion. So, if that's the case, how do we learn to open up to each other, me and that? It just feel funny asking a man. Wait, just tell me how 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 do you feel about this situation, bro? Vulnerability. You want to talk Is about any man in here feel like they can be vulnerable with, with a girl or or being vulnerable with somebody and it either worked or didn't work or you feel cool about it? I've been vulnerable and was thrown back in my face. But see, vulnerable is different between. I mean, and I'm not saying he was complaining. I'm just saying there is a difference between oh. being vulnerable and then <laughs> complaining. You know what I'm saying? Being vulnerable, you really kind of letting yourself, you know, go and kind of explaining your feelings in a way that's not necessarily blaming necessarily like just telling them how you actually feel or what you're going through you see what i'm saying really like giving your heart to someone in that way i guess i don't even i don't know. think i've ever done that that's what i mean. <laughs> i don't think oh shit. i ain't gonna lie I don't think you I've ain't never done, done it no nah, i mean i mean man, the fuck i come from a different world man i'm just like see what i mean what can you do to help it really i mean it's not your fault in my in my opinion i'm not saying it's your fault per se what I got going on with shit. I'm just like, I handle it myself. Maybe that's fucked up, right? Nah, I ain't with the opening up because I don't want shit to be you. I don't even that's what I'm it. saying, too. You can use it against you. You can throw yeah. it up. and I don't really think about that. Y'all will and y'all good, but y'all some hateful motherfuckers, too, boy. Oh, Men do that shit, too, right, though. Oh, throw some shit right up. That's why your daddy did. Damn. <laughs> like, they hit low, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm good and that I goes was, into. I was always told never give a motherfucker the bullet to shoot you with. Mm. You heard that before? Yeah, my 
That goes to an interesting topic, kind of question that you had on there, Slick. Oh, yeah. When you were saying, uh, I think you had a question about um, if a man, if a man was like never raised by somebody, you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. It wasn't raised. Can a woman actually teach a man how to be a man in a relationship? She can teach anything that's willing to learn. What y'all think? Y'all think a woman can teach a man in a relationship? Do y'all think y'all can help a man become a better man per se? I've seen smart monkeys more smarter than some niggas that I know. Well, so how, how, how do y'all how do y'all feel like y'all can help a man be a better man? Don't t- no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, that's let's, a real question. No, no, let's tell them how to make us. No, no, I re- I rather first I'd let rather them say what them. they think. But go ahead, go ahead. I'd rather us tell them. I hate asking a motherfucker that don't. This penis, I'm telling you, it's, it's really simple, but y'all make it complicated because a lot of women look for logic in situations and shit. Like, why did he do that? Bitch, it was there. Um, it may be stupid, but nobody said, I'm not condoning. I'm just saying that's how me and we let the like it. Men, men ain't finna do that. But you ain't gonna like the world, baby. So, so you don't no, feel stupid, no, look no, stupid. No, no. Okay. What? We always say this every fucking week. If a man feel comfortable with you, you can give him that peace of mind and he ain't got to argue with you over dumb shit. But I always heard, pick and choose your battles. Everything in front of you be nagging about. You feel me? Some shit you got to learn less slide. That's called compromise, and that's how some of these motherfuckers stay together. So I would basically say be at peace and help and kind of be able to read him. If you fuck with him, you know, you know when his vibe is out. You know, okay, I'm going to leave this nigga alone, I'm going to come out of the but, way. But in your mind, that's going to make him a better man? Yeah, because anytime he, a man got peace, he can be great as he can be. When you worried, you know half the time when people are going through shit because they stressing on shit? True enough. I, I mean, yeah, I still wouldn't mind hearing a woman's opinion on what y'all think y'all can do to help a man be a better man and what that look like. Anybody? I don't, I don't think they know how they look. Peace who? That's what I you said. Peace, peace. Y'all said what? Change come within. Mm-hmm. They have to be willing to change. Okay. Do they find it? Okay. Does he take the advice? Does he All take right. the advice? So she said that it's about taking the advice that's given. Did he, he take the advice? His finances is going to fucked up. <laughs> okay, well, she was telling a story. I thought she actually had a man that she was doing. Well, no, she was saying that. She was okay, just gave an example. Yeah, she said, okay, I got it. Yeah, but the I fact she's good at finances, okay. she can teach you. Yes. That's, a good, that's a good example. You you basically showed show them what you're good at and you kinda see where they kinda where they fault at and you I kinda build on about. that, right? If I'm terrible with money, she gotta be good with money. If I'm stupid, she better be smart. <laughs> can a man can a man teach really? a can a man teach a woman how to be a better woman? Uh, I can tell you a better woman for me. You see? Like yes. look at look at flip side yes. that is though. Y'all yes. swear y'all can teach a man how to be another man, but when you say can me be a better man, but when a man say can we teach her how to be a better woman, y'all like nope, that ain't fine. Nah, how the fuck you gonna tell me? We said if he willing, that? we didn't say we can teach. We said if he's willing. We okay. We saying if y'all willing, right? Yeah, I do. If y'all willing, <laughs> you can teach me how to be a better woman to a man, but how to be a woman in general? Teach oh, no, but woman. teach me how to be a better woman to a man. Yes, teaching a man how to be a better. Man to a woman, yes. But Tell us what you, it, out in the real world, no, you can't. You can't what? Like you teach me nothing. I don't feel like you can teach me how to be a better woman. Yeah, I think a so man will to grow up. Why not teach you how to survive in the woods? You don't think that would be a good trick? I think that's human instinct. Hey, Everybody needs to know. Change what I mean. Agent. But I, I think I think I don't think I don't think a man men are necessarily in the business of trying to change them, but change them to be the best woman for them. Yeah. If you are in a relationship. So if you in a relationship, are you willing to kind of, yeah, are you willing to, okay. Do you, do you think a man can help a woman's dress? No. No. Clothes-wise, no. if they say, 
This may be look good. This may be appropriate. You, go you control. say no. You say yes. Yeah. Okay, number one is not control. That's not control. It's control. Some women don't realize what they're doing sometimes. Like honestly, she may think it's cute, but she don't realize it look too revealing. And then just being honest sometimes. You feel? Okay. But if she don't just look like right. a hoe, then we kind of. What is the difference between being a woman and a slut? Yeah. Well, slugs get paid changed. to do stuff. <laughs> and some women just like looking like certain ways. Yeah. But I ain't even talking about necessarily for you know, well, If you're a straight you know. woman and you ain't like that, why the fuck would you want to dress like this? Let me ask that stupid ass question. I mean, what if you got a good That don't make sense to me. If you a respectable you woman, why you walk around with your ass on out of but you're respectable? A nice like, I need this to make sense. Like, make this make sense. I, I, that's what I was saying. Like, what if you got a nice physique and you just like the white clothes? You look? can wear anything. Whether you you can nice sexualize physique. me, but I'm not telling you to. It's not my fault what you think when I'm in there. No, it is your it's fault. Not. You came out with your ass and titties out. I'm looking. You knew that was gonna happen when you put it on. Anything that God made of value is covered up. Anything that God made of value. Yeah, you can still be a bad motherfucker. I've seen a bad motherfucker. Interesting. Well, that's showing I mean, why, why do, if it's not true, no, that's showing everything. I guess if it don't, I guess, I guess me playing devil's advocate, if they don't belong to you, why is it even your business? That's right. Why, why, why do you even care? Because that just started. If they're comfortable with it, and they comfortable in their skin, and they good, why is right. it even right. or business to judge? Right. I got a question. All right, I got a question. All <laughs> I got right. a comment. I got a comment. I got a comment. So. If you pick her up and she's dressed like that, do you put her in a certain category like, yeah, I fuck her, but this ain't nothing I'm taking on to my mom? Not in that dress. I don't know. I, <laughs> talk to her. I just I think, about, about, I think about all the stars and stuff that's married. I be thinking like when Gucci was married. I know that's probably the best example, but Gucci girl used to come out. Her titties out and everything. Kanye girls do. Yeah. Like, they come yeah. out. All types of ways, and they in love, I man. They Nicki married Minaj, the rich man. dude, Nicki, well, they got, Cardi B. He has, he has, and Cardi B seems like a pretty cool Gucci, wife, in Gucci, my opinion. Gucci's story is different. Gucci had got a hell of a cheek because he left her with his last. We talking about well, look how she got on. Dress on. Nigga, she'll I'm, come out showing everything. I understand, but that's how he met her. He met her like that. He met her. She was an uh, influencer, so that's what she's gonna keep doing. Influence, whether with you or not, that was her hustle. Yeah. And usually the rich mess with the rich, but they all swapping them around. <laughs> they all swapping. It's the same. They all swapping them around. If you meet a bitch, he cheated on her. I'm sorry. If you what meet you a got bitch got not it? wearing clothes, she gonna not wear clothes. That's not nothing uh-huh. that she tried to do. She Stella, just don't wear them. Fellas, what's your opinion? opinion? We it's, just want to take question was you, you But she might hold you down like Gucci girl. I don't care. Might be a great girl. Right? Might be a great girl. Just want to show her titties. No, how does it go? What are we doing? I don't see them there walking out with this dick out time, but I'm gonna kill them tonight. They're gonna see this white. I don't see them. I don't see them going to the club trying to dress out like that. In the 80s, they used to do that shit in the 80s. Well, that was a competition back then. In the 80s, they used to come in them curls and motherfucking. Yeah, that was used to wear old jock straps and shit in the club. Like, what's going on? Look, I don't. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people lost touch that you can still be sexy with clothes on. I get turned on by turtlenecks and the sweaters and shit. Yeah, I mean, it's. it's nah, but it's it's everybody naked. Different, different folks. Different strokes for different folks. Everybody naked. Like, you seen a girl walk in here bad as mud in her teeth, you're going to be like, damn. Damn, my fault. That's what I'm exactly going to do. You're going to be there. Yo, yo, ask me. You're a You're trying to. Now, Slick going to try to change her that night, though. Like, you know, you don't have to be walking around. <laughs> you know, this is the last night you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> First night, you know, you met her. You know this is the last night. We can, uh, uh, hey, I let a nigga tell the truth. Tell the truth. Yeah, don't fuck with me. You know, her last name getting telling her the truth. Yeah, I'll be on the phone with niggas in the morning, bro. <laughs> Guess what I mean, Fellas, bro. what y'all think? Can y'all, can y'all still? Can, can y'all go Guess out? Guess what happened, bro? Don't, don't be some so, good conversation. Look, hold sidebar. You know when you get that phone call, and you know y'all be chilling, and it, especially you girls. When when your 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 gal may call you, you gonna answer phone and you with your nigga, then she send you that text, bitch, and you got <laughs> and you gotta call them back to see what the tea is. Well, that's happened to me so many times. I be like, what the fuck is tea is? The good thing about it is we always get it. You fuck with it, she gonna tell you. All her friends' business is your business now. You know all the friends who sell coochie, who steal. Mm. So so well, that's like the only business I heard. Agree, y'all. Quit that. 
Fellas, would you, would you rather your girl just prerogative with you or why you with them or why you not with them? Dude, what do you say? For, 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 yeah, for, 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 for five years. Yeah, for five years. Oh, okay, she can drink like she yeah. want with me. With me? Yeah. See, I'm like opposite. I'd rather you do that when I'm not with you. Like, because if I'm with you, then I don't want to have to deal with niggas trying to talk to you and this oh, and that. It. And I got to sit there. I know you when we walk out. So niggas are rude, right? You know, you know niggas are disrespectful. If I'm willing to take out and let her walk like that, I'm with the shit. I mean, you're going to be beautiful. If you're beautiful, niggas going to try to talk to you regardless. But see, that's what I'm oh. saying. Like, I don't want to be into no, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you just told me like, damn, disrespectful. she thick show is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, like I almost rather you dress decent with me and then without me, whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? I don't got to be around this shit. No, no. That's trust, though. You got to be able to trust. Every group of girls got a hole in the If place. I trust you, I trust you. you do, I mean, shit. In my mind, anyway. And that hoe is the one that proposed we got, and is the most fun we got on the trips. Okay, we got a question. What we, we got, got a statement. The statement was, um, what was the statement you're dressed was, and you look That's back. what she said. She said she, she, she gets more men. Last week she was dressed. She said she gets more men when she's coming from work. This is how much time. She's 20, what? 28. We ain't got a date Okay. She said she get more people when she dressed coming from work. Definitely. But she's still, yeah. she's still like a hoe. Because you look innocent. You look innocent. She looks innocent. I like the surprise hoe. Okay. I like you the like ones the surprise that you don't know how she is that you get a hoe. I do too. Like, oh, I do too. Okay. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I do too. Ooh. I would prefer that too. I'm just kind of playing devil's advocate on it. Almost, what does it matter if it's not your girl? Though? That's my whole thing. My thing is, why we like. It's not my girl, but the whole point when I see it like that, she won't be one. But to the point we disrespect her. Oh, but I fuck her. <laughs> nah, I will fuck her, but we not keeping her. You'll be surprised, though. Don't be the ones that really. Don't, sometimes don't even be going, though. Man, they dress. The dress the no, most no, no, crazy. No, no. Be like, they just no, are being off them type of girl that got a type. They know nah, I don't. They yeah. got a type. Nah, I wouldn't prefer you to like, be all. Uh, hey, you, you would miss it. Don't dance all that one out with you, though. You nah. miss gold teeth. That's what all that was. I couldn't rock with it. I couldn't rock with it. Well, the standards is not that set that out there. But really, we don't set no standards. I think it's me we need to set some standards. I stand. Yeah. What type of standards? What type of standards? Yeah, like like when a girl come provocatively dressed up to me and say, "Hey, what's your name?" Be like, "No, sister." You keep that pussy. You need to dress better. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah. You just said you a fuck him. That is not gonna happen. Listen, listen. You gonna compliment him and shit like you do this nice. together as a collective to make this work. No, we gotta check. We gotta help the little sisters. You can't sit up there and talk about them, babe. I hear y'all in this club with this bitch and what she got on. You gotta quit doing that. Go pull her to the side and say, baby. No, she ain't that ain't flat. That's not flat. You're better than tell her she's better than that. See what I'm talking about? See, but that's why they out here loose like that. You know what the funniest shit is? Who said who? Male friends? You said? Man, don't mean maybe wearing that crush. Who you I did that but like regular. I ain't talking about no TV shit. I'm talking about. I don't know regular I put them on right above my knee. Like, 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 like right now, these are hoochies. Some women like that, though. Some of y'all be liking that shit. That's but. the male call the car for I'm going. <laughs> but, if, 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 look, but if it's just above your knees, right, that's cool. That's kind of grown up nowadays, See, that, right? That is the cutout. You, you still want the 90s baggy pants and shit. The creatures in there. I don't know what the fuck they are. All right. <laughs> I think it gotta work. I think I think it depends on your everything, your body type of shit. Don't be no big ass nigga walking around. I put the hoochie daddies on on guys night. Oh man, we're going out. (laughs) Pull them motherfuckers up. I'm outside. I let you know I'm outside. Uh And outside, it's outside. Outside. All right. I'm telling you, ain't no wrong with that. We we gotta be sexy too. 
cool on that. I'm cool on that. You cool? You think, do you think it, it matches yeah. the one to be single? I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess to, to me, it's a, I mean, I guess it's the woman's decision on if you're sexy or not. Like, you don't get to call yourself sexy and shit. Like, yeah. Look here, I got to love me first. If I can't love me, I don't let some woman treat me any kind of guy. It's still up to the woman at the end of the day. But the confidence is important. That confidence in yourself, I guess. Confidence. It ain't your life. ain't your You ain't got a back up. <laughs> Nah, I don't walk around. Confidence is a lie that you hope you don't have to back up. That's what fucking confidence is. You got to be that. You can't be faking that. But you got to have confidence. Confidence like it's real like you barred it for a minute. Well, Woman, y'all think, is it more sexy uh, personality-wise or looks? What do y'all wow. prefer? <laughs> be honest. Wow. wow. She's talking about both. Huh? <laughs> that what? Yeah. Which one, y'all? Personality, but y'all need to see. You settle down with personality, and you settle down with money. Which one would you choose, twenty-eight year old? <laughs> would you choose for money, or would you choose for personality? Somebody that you can vibe with, dig with. Huh? You going personality? Um, I heard the first thing women look at is shoes and teeth. Is that is that right? Is that almost so, that? Shoes, hair, teeth. You got a demeanor before you even look at that. But that's fine. I look at titties and, yeah. and hips first. <laughs> titties and hips. You don't want them showing. Them. <laughs> you don't want them showing them though. Hey, I've done it a lot of times when I got to the face. It was like, hey. So I, I say a personality because I feel like at the end of the day, if you got a good personality, I can change you up. I can help you with your resume. Yes. I can put the, the eye me. pictures on there for your resume so you Please. can make a hundred thousand dollars. Do that for and me. That's yeah. next thing. Yeah. So you know. No, we see, that's why I, I, I say want all of that. Yeah. Personality. Yeah. You don't, yeah. you don't have, it ain't gotta be about looks. You could be an ugly motherfucker, but you could be a good person. <laughs> but I'm cute. But you could be a good person. You could be laughing because when you ugly, you make up in other areas. I, I think, think all you, you do is live up to your potential. Yeah, that's all. I got all the potential in the world. See, that's what I've done. Look, looks to me is just a matter of whatever. I think all you can do with looks is just try to live up to your potential, whatever that is. You know, keep yourself neat, keep yourself cool. Keep, you know. I mean, look hold at Jay Z. Jay Z's hold fucked up. With it, with all it, y'all fucked up. Hold Jay-Z's. on. How far will it? How far do we get when it's suspect? How far does when the man's grooming gets too much? Like he, you start thinking suspect. If he's in the mirror too long, if he paints his nails, like what? What is he? What is, <laughs> Damn, Dave, what does it get to that point? What, you say a word, you're gonna be like this nigga's all wrong. Man. This nigga's off. Like if he wear a bonnet and you wear a bonnet both to bed, like <laughs> no. I think when he look like yeah, when he think about his like upkeep a little bit more. Like, if yeah. I come in, I'm on French, you know, shit. fine. Yeah. And then niggas still like, well, what you think about me? You get face shoes and pedicures. What, and what about me, though? <laughs> At least <laughs> twice a month. I, I get my feet. I've been mean, listening to get my feet and shit. You get fucked with, though. I ain't nowhere to get your feet fucked with, especially. I keep hearing. The chick telling you you scratching them and shit in the bed with your feet. Well, I can cut them. Go get your feet together. I, I ain't putting no polish in nothing on my toes. I ain't got to go to Maitland for that shit. I nigga, you, you know if your fucking toenails is fucked up. I'm paying a high price nail clip. Damn. <laughs> As you get older, you be like, all right, shit, enough of this shit. Yeah, that ain't enough. Oh, fucking shit is black and shit. Nah, it's all good. Yeah. Hey, and it's relaxing. Hey, it's to relax. When is it too less for a woman? Mm-hmm. You said too less for a woman. What you mean? Meaning, like, when you draw the line with, like, uh, hygiene and enough. I heard what? If a hygiene, for you to say her hygiene is need to be more. Cause most girls' hygiene is high. So what be fine with some of this? I've seen some nasty. Some of these motherfuckers is nasty. Hey, you wanna know if they nasty? Go in the bathroom. The bathroom tell it all. I don't if she got that. lashes still on the sink and hair all over the goddamn place. I don't go there. I, mean, I thought you talking about like, like, if her tube or toothpaste is still open, she ain't shit. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I go there, but I don't, I don't know. Close that motherfucker way more. That's a lot. So you toothpaste, that's your answer. You did the toothpaste. That's when it's my toothpaste. I don't have I'm 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 like a hell of a cat. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. You gonna find all that shit to my cleaner come. You might find yeah. She, so you got yeah, her ass get over there. I, I mean, I don't do it deliberately, but shit. It's my fucking house. Yeah. But I don't know. You done shot it before. Did what? No, no, no. Never. Nigga, you tri- I'm talking about like your Dang. house. Like I might leave 
razor out of some or a fucking toothpaste open or some shit thing. like that. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you said before it go to the laundry, so I'm just saying what is she saying? Nah, cleanliness is next to godliness. And I don't get that close to a woman personal shit to know that. Like, I'm really weird about that. Like, women don't even shit around me. Like, I don't even know. I told you, my last, my last few relationships, I didn't even know my woman was shitting. Like, ever. Oh, go in the bathroom and then I, I learned when that shower is on, they all so shit. I learned that about three years ago. I, I, I didn't even know that. Hey, you know something? You know something? I can I, I'm gonna share a quick story with y'all one time. And I wasn't tripping, tripping about it. It's just, <laughs> I think they understood. I, I, just, I, don't know. I did shark one time, but I, I gotta tell you, this nigga told me a joke. I laughed so motherfucking hard, man. <laughs> did you I leave did. and go change, nigga, or something? I laughed so motherfucking hard, I thought I farted, but I didn't. <laughs> I had to literally go back there. No, I had to. You go out to the club afterwards. I fell the fuck out. Look, the Absolutely. joke. I got to. Look, it's one of them jokes you got to write a promissory note that you won't try to sue me. But this joke was so fucking funny. Oh my God. I'm, nigga, did you go change afterwards? I couldn't do no shit like that. Them jokes had to go like three plastic bags. Ain't no more fucking way. It's one that trash. Nigga. Dumpster for pickup on Friday. Yeah, them had, them draws were thirsty. I had to ride right. back home, Commando. <laughs> And I heard a joke. I went at home, y'all. No, I was 30 minutes from home. I had to sit there. I want a family dollar at Walmart. Yeah. I even took some t-shirts and just left it in my ass just in case. I said, I'm going to sit on this till I get home. I like my car too much. I didn't want that shit on my car. Ladies be on that shit. I seen a joke ass lady just piss right outside. Like, fuck me up. Man, okay. Put her pen, nigga. Ass is so big. I said, what the? Hold on. We I didn't even know on. all that ass could fit in the jeans she had on. I thought, what? She just plopped down. Hold on. Pits and I said, God damn. I got another side <laughs> part. Fuck. I got, a, I got another side bar. Shit, I was traumatized. Hold on. I got another side bar. Yeah, I fell in with Okay, so I was about 22, something like that. And I always wanted to fuck with this chick that stayed around the neighborhood named Starkeisha. So, Starkeisha. Yeah, 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 Starkeisha. Y
she, no, you she jumped out. Bro, she jumped out. Like, no, nah, she <laughs> rolled in gravel. Like, it, it's a concrete. She rolled in gravel. I mean. She really wanted to get away. Yeah, she rolled out the motherfucker. That's some movie shit. She really wanted to get away. She wanted to take that that's in the car with me. You were talking much shit, dude. Yeah, all right. Oh man, she had me pissed though. She called me everything, but yeah, she called me everything on my name. <laughs> I was every low ball, sorry, broke, pity, disgusted. I was only here because I had shit else to do, looking ass nigga. I was like, I don't know. She see this now. <laughs> this bitch follows me. <laughs> Bam! Now you told on. I told the story. Yeah. I told you we're going to keep it honest up there. Fuck it. You know, we're going to go to this first break. And then we coming right back. Man, right right back after the first break. What's up, baby? Next topic. First topic coming back. And we'll be right Messing back. Messing with married people. Who's, fault? Who's at fault? That's going to be the next topic coming back. Let's Let's talk about it.